Today I'm going to teach different kinds of verbs in Mandarin and how to use them. 你好，我是 Katrina, your Mandarin teacher here at Ma Mandarin, guiding you from zero to a confident speaker. You can subscribe to my channel and hit the bell to be notified when I have new videos every week. In my last video lesson, I told you the basic Chinese verb for daily life. If you haven't watched the video, the link is right over there. And in today's lesson, I'm going to give you different kinds of verbs in Mandarin. Be sure to stick around to the end of this video because at the end of this video, I'm going to give you something for free to take away from this lesson. Now, let's jump right into the topic. So, remember I told you there are different kinds of verbs in Mandarin. Okay, here are verb, verb object verb, optative verb, and verb plus complement. I know. To this point, you probably want to switch the channel and smash your computer and give up on Chinese. But what I'm going to tell you is, don't give up. I understand how you feel, and I'm going to give you the easiest way to learn Mandarin Chinese. So now let's get started. First of all, is the verb. Verb is verb, just verb, right? For example, 工作 work, 工作工作 So this is a basic regular verb, 工作 You can use that as saying, 我今天得工作 I have to work today. 我今天 I today, they have to 工作 work. So I have to work today. 我今天得工作 Or another example for verb is 参加参加 to join to participate. 参加他明天要参加一个派对。派对 is party, so 他明天要参加一个派对。So he's going to participate, attend, join a party. So 参加 and 工作 they are verbs of Mandarin, regular verbs of Mandarin, and you use them. Just kind of like you use in English. He 明天要参加一个派对 So what about the next one? Verb object verb. Let me give you example. 吃吃 means to eat, right? So this is a verb. But if you say 我吃 I eat, and people will be like, you eat what? Huh? What are you saying? So you have to put an object after the verb. For example, 我吃汉堡 I eat hamburger. So the sentence makes sense to other people, also to the universe. So 我吃汉堡 So this sentence makes sense to the listener and to the speaker. Or you can say 吃牛排 eat steak. 我吃牛排 I eat steak. So you see, you have subject, verb, and object. That you form a very basic, simple sentence that is meaningful. Let me give you another verb object example. You have 看 to watch. 看 This is a very convenient word because it means to watch, to see, to read. So 看 For example, 看书 You need to put an object after 看 Otherwise, it doesn't mean anything. So 看书 means to read book. 看书我爱看书 I love to read books. 我爱看书 I love to read books. Or you could say 看电视我不喜欢看电视 I don't like to watch TV. 我不喜欢看电视 I don't like to watch TV. So you see, you have a basic verb, an object, and you form a sentence subject. Verb and object. 我不喜欢看电视 If you're a little bit more than advanced of the beginner's level, you can watch this video lesson that I made about verb object. This is actually HSK one, which is level one concept. So if you think this video is too easy, make sure to stick around to the end and watch this video. All right, let's go on. The number three verb is called optative verb. 
uh, I don't want you to recite or remember the uh, professional term, what verb is that. I want you to learn how to use the verb. So what is optative verb? Optative verb is verbs about expressing ability or the possibility of a thing. For example, hui and ke yi. These two verbs that we learned in our previous video, if you haven't watched that, it's right over there. So hui to know how to, right? So the example is 我会说汉语 I know how to speak Mandarin Chinese 我会说汉语 I know how to speak Mandarin Chinese I can speak Mandarin Chinese 我会说汉语 It shows your ability So that is optative verb Or the other one is 可以 可以 is made to show the uh, permission 我可以用你的车吗? May I use your car? 我可以用你的车吗? 我可以, may I, 用 to use, 你的, your, 车吗? 车 is car. 我可以用你的车吗? May I use your car? So these two verbs show that the ability or possibility and permission. That's optative verb. The next one is verb plus complement. Previously, we learned a word. 吃 means to eat. What if I put another word behind 吃? For example, 吃完. 完 means finish. So it literally means eat, finish. 吃完 means finish eating. Eat, finish means finish eating. 吃完. So 吃 is a verb. And one is to show the result of the verb. So verb plus complement means that there's a verb there. And behind the verb, there is a word to show the result of this verb. And this is not an easy concept as beginner because this is actually uh, in advanced beginner's level and pre-intermediate level. So you don't have to worry about that. But you do need to know a little bit concept about this verb. Let me give you some examples. 吃完, finish eating. 我吃完了, I finish eating. So, I had done eating. I finish eating. 我吃完了, I have finished eating. 我吃完了, what if I put a different result after 吃? For example, 吃饱, 饱 means full. So eat full, you're eating, and the result is you're full. Example, 我吃饱了, I'm full by eating. 我吃饱了, 我吃饱了, I'm full by eating. You can also ask another person, 你吃饱了吗? You are full, are you full by eating? 你吃饱了吗? 你吃饱了吗? So there are four different kinds of verbs in Mandarin Chinese and I give you the basic idea of these four different kinds of verbs and how to use them. I want to give you something for free and you probably know what it is if you have seen my previous video lesson. That's right, I'm going to give you a free worksheet of this lesson which you can download it and a free audio review file. Where to download it? Just go to this link and I put a link down below in the description box. Go to the link and hit free enroll. You get access to the free resources from Smart Mandarin. In my next video, I'm going to teach you Chinese word order. How to put verb, object, and subject into a correct order. While you're waiting for my next video lesson, here are two playlists that you can watch my super easy Mandarin series and HSK1 playlist for beginners. Thank you for watching this video. I'll see you in the next one. Bye-bye.